The MHS 400 from Zigania Albi provides optimal operating convenience at the push of a button for easy opening, closing and traversing of the lift and slide sash of HS elements. The delivery specification of the MHS 400 includes the SA slide drive including 24 volt power supply, the HA lift drive, the actuator base for the lift and slide sash and also a packer for different profile systems, fixing accessories consisting of screws for the drive unit and the cable support, a ribbon cable an infrared remote control including batteries and wall bracket, an 8mm AF Allen key as an operating lever in power failures, cover caps for the HA lift drive, the SA slide drive and the actuator, assembly and operating instructions. The following are available as accessories on request an MHS 400 drill jig for the clearance hole for timber elements, an MHS 400 drill jig for the actuator, a rose for elements with a lock, a rose to cover the lock, an extra infrared remote control including wall bracket, and a special cable for sash heights from 2700 to 3300 millimeters. Before assembly, the sash and the hardware should be checked to ensure free movement. Before assembly of the MHS 400, the hardware must be easy to operate manually. Before installing the MHS 400, ensure that the lift and slide element is not distorted and is fitted vertically into the soffit. For installation of the MHS 400, you will require two screw clamps, a folding ruler, a size 2 crosshead screwdriver, a 90mm long screwdriver bit, a power drill, wood or metal drills in 3, 7, 10 and 15mm diameters with a length of 180mm. First remove the handle and the sliding grip. Put together the lift drive loosely with the fixing plate, then insert the square of the drive unit into the square socket in the hardware gear and line up on the lift and slide sash. Mark out the outer edges of the fixing plate. Use the holes in the fixing plate for scribing and drilling. Further work on the sash can be done most easily if it's laid on blocks. First remove the hardware gear. Distance holders are used with plastic and aluminium elements. The cable guides must be set over and under the distance holders on each side.
Split the six core ribbon cable into three cores and push into the cable holders. An excess cable length of approximately 140 millimeters is absolutely necessary to be able to connect the lift drive without problems. Screw the HA fixing plate on the sash. Using a 15mm drill, drill the cable exit hole in the lift drive. Run the cable through the cable exit hole into the hardware groove of the lift and slide sash. Insert the HS hardware gear back into the hardware groove and screw in place, taking care that the cables are not crushed when doing so. For lift and slide elements with external sliding grip, the fixing screws of the sliding grip must be screwed to the fixing plate of the lift drive. Screw the lift unit onto the base plate. Insert the plug of the ribbon cable into the plug coupler. Before using the drill jig, always take note of the setting dimension for correct positioning of the actuator. The right setting dimension for the particular HS profile systems can be found in Chapter 4 of the Assembly Instructions. Place the drill jig horizontally on top of the lift and slide sash and position in accordance with the dimensioning. A tip, we recommend drilling the 7mm holes for the supporting peg of the actuator base first and securing the drill jig on the sash with drills or pegs. Next come the 15mm drilled hole for the cable aperture and the 3mm drilled hole for the actuator fixing screws. Sharp edges should be deburred, especially on aluminium elements. Next, run the ribbon cable in the upper guide groove to the exit opening. Pull back the cable up to a length of 50 millimeters.
Loop and fix the cable in the upper guide groove. For assembly of the slide drive, refit the lift and slide sash. Position the slide drive horizontally, offset by 2 mm from the inner edge of the frame. The vertical positioning is to be taken from the profile cross section in the assembly instructions. Mark out all holes and pre drill if necessary. Fix the slide drive with suitable screws. Screw the actuator onto the actuator base. Next, connect the cable from the lift and slide sash to the cable from the energy conducting chain. Fit the cover cap onto the actuator and the cover profile onto the mounting angle. Remove the push-out notch for the mains cable and fit both cover caps. The top cover for the lift drive is fixed with the two top screws. To fix the bottom cover, first place a square nut into the bottom bracket. Then screw the bottom cap firmly onto the drive unit. Visible profile cylinder milling can be covered with the cover rose supplied. If the lock is still to be used, please use the lock rose supplied. After assembly of the MHS 400 is completed, first carry out a reference run. For this, the sash should be in the closed position. Touch the button briefly and wait until the drive comes to a standstill. teach the drive, hold the button pressed until the horn sounds four times. Now release the button and press it again until the horn sounds once.
After opening and closing twice, the MHS 400 is ready for normal electric motor operation. The MHS 400 has a safety circuit. As soon as the slide travel of the lift and slide sash is blocked, the lift and slide sash will stop, run for about four seconds in the opposite direction, and then finally stop again. Every time the button on the lift drive is pressed, the drive position will change between open, stop and close. If the button is briefly touched twice, the sash will move into the ventilation gap position for 10 minutes and then automatically close again. To teach in the intermediate position, keep the button pressed for 8 seconds until the horn sounds 3 times. The lift and slide sash will be unlocked and start to move. At the desired opening width, briefly touch the button again. The lift and slide sash will stop and the position will be put into memory. Whilst operating the infrared remote control, always point it towards the LED at the bottom edge of the slide drive. Remove the bottom cover cap of the lift drive. For manual operation, unlock the drive unit by pressing the unlocking button firmly. Next, turn the emergency operating handle into the lift position. Now the sash can be moved manually. With some HS profile systems, a support is needed for the slide drive. For timber elements, a 15mm clearance hole is required. For this, a 10mm hole is pre-drilled and then opened up to 15mm. The drill jig available in the accessories can be used for the drilling. For retrofitting the Y guide rail HH0130, the cable must be fixed in the upper sash groove with large diameter washers and nails. The nails must not damage the cores of the cable. If necessary, attach the actuator base with the packer provided. 